Hello everybody, my name is Natalia Costa. Welcome to Skin at Heart, where we talk about essential oils and wellness. Today I will talk to you about how to use the diffuser. It's a common question that I get. I receive a lot of questions about uh, uh, diffuser, how to use, uh, how to do. Um, yeah, so today I will clarify some of those questions in this video. So this is how the diffuser looks like from the outside. Uh, it's basically a, a device that you have to connect to, to the electricity uh, and that will spread the essential oils uh, by uh, eating up the water. So uh, the device uh, looks like this. It has um, uh, something that you can take off. And then you fill it in with water up until this red uh, mark here. You fill it in with water and then you add drops of your favorite essential oils. For example, a question that I'm often asked is how many drops of oil should I have? If you're using a, a, a brand that you trust, a, a high quality brand, then you know that three drops are more than enough. You don't need more than that and if the room is quite small, one drop may be enough and you can feel the fragrance of the essential oil uh, during the whole diffusing time. But of course, if you're using a, a, a essential, an essential oils brand that uh, you are not so sure of or you don't really trust, uh, it may be more prone to combinations or, or adulteration. I will leave a post uh, uh, below this video where you can read more about that. And of course, in that case, then the, fragr the fragrance will not stay. It will not prevail so long and you will not feel it for, for a continuous time. So basically, you fill up the, the diffuser. In this case, this is uh, one of my diffusers. I, you, I have to fill it in up until the red, uh, uh, the red thing here, uh, as indicated in the instructions. And then I put three drops of my favorite essential oils. And yes, you can combine oils. You can put one drop of three different oils, for example. You can do combinations that you find appealing. You can combine citrus with citrus, fruits with fruits, flowers with fruits. Uh, you can combine a wide variety of uh, uh, oils. Uh, trees, for example, I really like to combine trees and citrus. Uh, sometimes I also combine a few plants uh, like oregano or, or thyme that have a very, very strong smell with a few more drops of citrus to, to blend in and uh, yeah, and to, to have uh, uh, the maximum benefit with uh, a very um, uh, uplifting and also pleasant uh, fragrance. So you had the water, you had the drops that you want, then you close the device and then you just switch it on. You have, it has to be powered uh, and then you switched it on and uh, it, will, uh, it will start working. In some cases, uh, uh, you can choose the, the amount of time that you want it running. Uh, in some uh, diffusers, you have that choice. For example, in this case, you can choose from one hour to four hours. So one, two or four. And you can also uh, choose to have the light on or off. Uh, a question that I'm often asked is, can I, uh, can I start my diffuser and go to bed while the diffuser is running? Yes, you can do that. It's possible. I don't like to do it myself. I'd rather uh, switch on the diffuser before I go to bed for a while. And then once I'm, I'm going to bed, I'd switch it off. I don't like to, to sleep with it on. Uh, but if you leave it on, it will, of course, uh, switch off after the hours uh, have gone by. So you can do it. Uh, even though I, I personally think it's better to disconnect it uh, before you go to bed, it is possible to, to do it. Another question that I'm often asked is, okay, so I've used, for example, lavender before going to bed, and then in the morning I want to use the diffuser again, but it still has water uh, because the water, I didn't use the full water with lavender. Should I just add more water and other oils or should I, I take this water out and then fill it in with other water and uh, another oil? Well, the truth is that it's up to you. If you live in a, in a, in a clean house uh, with uh, 
with the good cleaning uh, uh, conditions and uh, habits. Then, of course, if you leave the water for the hours you are sleeping, uh, typically eight to 10 hours, and then just add more water and another oil, it will be fine uh, because that water uh, will still be good. But, of course, if you want to get uh, uh, another type of emotional uh, benefit from the usage of the oils, then that means that uh, maybe you want to take this water out to fill it up with a new water, with a new oil. But for example, what I do sometimes is, imagine if I use lavender in the evening, then in the next day I don't want to take that lavender out, so I just fill it up with more water and then I put, for example, lime or wild orange, one of the morning oils for me, uh, an uplifting citrus oil, and uh, I, I just use it as a combination because I know that then uh, once I just put two or three drops of the lime right there, I know that that will be the, the fragrance that will be more strong, that will be stronger. So these are just uh, some of the common questions that I received regarding the usage of the oils. I hope this was useful. If you have more questions, uh, email me or leave comments under this video. Uh, if you like this video, do a like for me, uh, share it as well, it may be useful for other people. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, and up until my next video, be happy!